este avión que desapareció allá, ¿dónde fue? ¿En, en Malasia? ¿O dónde fue? Sí, correcto. Que tardaron como tres años en encontrarlo, que no lo encontraban, que se estrelló, que se no, fue no, para... No me digas, no me digas que se lo llevaron marcianos, Tony. Pues no, marcianos. Ahí lo que pasó es como que hubo un error de un misil, un misil, algo, algo se va a estar enterando de un avión de Malasia, algo que pasó con un avión que fue desaparecido, una verdad de que se les fue ahí, ahí nos equivocamos y lo, lo tumbamos, pero como que no lo querían decir porque, pues imagínate la gente. ¿El gobierno de qué? Ay, pues no, ¿para qué decimos? Yo sí, yo quiero renovar mi visa, no quiero problemas. <ríe> pero un error de dedo, un misil que atacó. Y ojo, algo se ve un otro avión en China, Japón. Satellite video footage. A strange hole is seen forming in the clouds immediately after the flash event that makes the plane disappear. This punctured area was not present prior to the flash occurring. Once the hole manifests, it persists in a fixed position, even as the camera pans away from the area. The timing and static nature of the ruptured cloud segment suggests a connection to the energy flash. The energy release can be observed pushing the gray cloud area forward. Additionally, the flash illumination itself appears reflected on surrounding clouds. This showcases complex physics interactions between the light blast and cloud layers. The appearance of this well-timed hole, along with the visible cloud deformations from the explosion, constitutes an incredibly meticulous level of detail. Incorporating such nuanced atmospheric effects lends further credibility to the footage showcasing advanced visuals beyond casual hoaxing efforts. If all this wasn't enough proof, a third video came to light that appears to capture the same event from yet another angle. The potential emergence of more classified footage adds to the credibility of an extraordinary event being captured from multiple recording platforms and reinforces that advanced military assets may have been tracking and documenting the bizarre occurrence. So where did this footage come from? The source of these perplexing videos appears to be a murky YouTube user named Regicide Anon. This uploader published the footage months after its stated date of receipt, before their account mysteriously vanished without a trace. Regicide Anon's video descriptions reference classified sources providing the videos in mid-2014, coinciding closely with MH370's March disappearance. They also posted other aerial footage claimed to be leaked military material around the same time frame. Curiously, all evidence of Regicide Anon's existence